So I just watched this uh, movie named Love Hard, and I thought I'd do a synopsis and review of it. The movie's about a column writer for failed online dating, and she goes on all these dates in this online app, and they're all terrible, and she writes about her experiences and what happens in them until she meets this guy. And this guy's pictures of, you know, some guy with a five o'clock shadow and a beanie on or something. And she falls in love with this guy. The conversations she's having are great. She starts talking to him more, you know, et cetera, blah, 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 blah. And he says to her, I wish you could be here with me for Christmas. Well, this lady's crazy in the head or something. And she decides to try, you know, to track him down and fly out to see him for Christmas. Well, when she gets there, she finds out that she's catfished. And the dude is not what she expected, and he's just like a normal average guy. And But he's got a great family and everything else like that. They're all super supportive throughout the movie. I don't know why the kid seems kind of down. He's always worried about disappointing people throughout the movie, but uh, it doesn't seem like anybody's disappointed with him. It sounds like he's just a little bit hard on himself. But what ends up happening is she finds out that the pictures dude used on his little internet profile were of a real guy. And so she tells him that, you know, this, I'm going to tell your family, this is messed up, blah, 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 you know, until he's like, well, maybe I could hook you up with the real guy. And she's like, okay, which, you know, is crazy because the real guy is a completely different person than the one she fell in love with or whatever. And of course she goes through all these trials and tribulations with this guy and finds out that she's now catfishing him by pretending to like everything this new guy likes and do all these things this new guy does. You know, and she really didn't match with him in the first place. And the whole thing blows up in their face because the kid's family super supportive. I mean to the extent that it's crazy supportive. And it goes way wrong. And so what ends in his brother's a little bit uh, of a show hog and a uh, showboater and, you know, glory grabber and steals the spotlight a lot of times on everything. Uh so what ends up happening is the lady ends up coming back and deciding that, yeah, you know what? It doesn't really matter what it looks like. Love is blind. And so she goes and gets back together with the guy, and there's the movie. It's been done several times, the concept and premise. I, I, I don't know what the other titles are called, like, does this similar premise, but I like this version a lot. It's really funny. It's a fun movie to watch. I definitely suggest giving it a try. It's in the top 10 on Netflix right now, so it, it seemed really decent. I was definitely skeptical because I've seen the premise like 10 million other times on tons of other movies, and I really didn't care for the concept. I mean, there's tons of different ones, but this one's a really good one, I think. I think they did really well playing their parts and everything like that. So, give it a watch. I give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.